Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about HDP Certified Developer Certification Exam. And uh, so far we have covered quite a bit of uh, stuff in this. And now we will be talking about a very important uh, component called specifying the number of reduced tasks for a pig map reduced job. If you go through any of the, uh, most of the transformations earlier like grouping the data, uh, distinct, removing the duplicate tuples, sorting. If you look at the syntax of any of these things, even the, I think, filtering also. No, not the filtering, but these things group. If you see, you have something called partition by partitioner and then parallel. Similarly, if you do uh, go to the distinct also, or even sort when you click on this it says parallel and also remove the duplicates which is nothing but distinct it says partition by and parallel so partition by is not in the scope of the uh, exam it, it by default it uses something called hash partitioning but parallel is extensively covered as part of the certification so partition I will cover as part of PIG curriculum, not as part of the certification, but I will cover parallel now. They are related, but you don't need to be worried about partition at this time. Just focus on parallel. Okay. So there are two aspects of parallel. One is uh, how to set the parallelism and uh, another one is how to determine the number of uh, parallel, setting the parallel you just need to understand the syntax and how to determine you need to understand uh, 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 more about uh, your data based upon your data you can determine the number of producers okay so i think as part of the certification it is only important to set the number number of uh, reduced tasks it, it does not sp um, uh, ask you to determine uh, the accurate number of reducers so for now i will defer uh, the logic behind determining the number of reducers and i will only focus about how to set the number of reduced tasks okay so you can click on this link to get the syntax and uh, there are two things which you need to understand you can set the parallelism at the script level if you are trying to execute a pig latin script and if you want to set parallel for each and every uh, function on which parallel is uh, applicable such as uh, distinct group join in our case which uh, distinct and group are already covered whatever you have in the script uh, for every where if you want to set a default number of reducers you have to use this one set default parallel and uh, and you you run command like this so for that make sure you have the uh, pig launch on your vm or on your cluster and then you can say set default parallel and the syntax is set key and value okay and uh, you can say two and now when you try to run any script i am picking the uh, script which the that the grouping okay so this is the one which we have demonstrated as part of the group uh, grouping uh, learning task what happened it is saying uh, fail to pass Okay, I have to launch it with H, H catalog. So let me quit and then pig use H catalog. And then first thing I need to do is set default parallel. So first let me run without setting up the parallelism. Okay, copy paste. While running, let us open the resource manager, sandbox, 
8088 and hit enter and uh, this is the one which is running at this time okay already uh, so this is a multiple uh, let me check how many mappers it is using yeah th this is the map reduce job which is currently running and if you it is already done okay the script is executed successfully and now if you click on uh, finished and go to the history by clicking on this link you can see there is one mapper and only there is one reducer okay now i am doing set default parallel as 4 and uh, when you set the default parallel you need to at least have more than one key so in this case there are one two three four five six seven eight nine keys so you can give up to a parallel nine sometimes uh, uh, it will use all the uh, reducer all the nine reducers sometimes it does not use uh, those many it depends upon the data okay anyway so this is how you can set the default parallel uh, at the script level and then if you copy paste the same script and run the dump command and go to the resource manager and refresh this page it is still not submitted the job okay it's actually I, I'm clicking on the finished so let's click on uh, applications and you can see the one this is also completed and now you can see that it is use, using uh, four reducers rather than one so uh, in my case I'm running simple group script and it is running only one map reduce job when you try to run more complex scripts with uh, 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 with lot more transformations uh, as part of the uh, code then uh, wherever this parallel is applicable like group join uh, which we will see in future uh, distinct all these things uh, we'll try to use the same number of reducers if you say set default parallel and whatever parallelism you want to use so it, it will take care at the level of the uh, script now if you want to customize the parallelism uh, for each transformation in that case you uh, uh, for each of the transformations where parallelism is applicable you will see parallel uh, syntax uh, parallel in the syntax and then you have to set the number of uh, uh, degree of parallelism by passing the number of reduce tasks here okay now the same script what we'll do is copy this one and uh, edit this file So parallel is nothing but number of reduced tasks and now when I try to group I want to use parallel 2 okay so parallel is the va valid syntax for the group operator and then you can run this script now so even though the default parallel is 4 because we are overriding that as part of the group function it will only use two uh, two reducers this time okay again uh, go to the resource manager refresh this page click on the application master and you can see that reducers are two now not four because we are trying to override we are overriding as part of the group operator like that wherever parallel is applicable uh, in the syntax 
you can customize the number of reducers okay so this is how you can specify the number of reducers at the script level by using set default parallel and also at the um, at the function or transformation level okay also we will try to run the distinct also in this case i am not setting up the parallel i am just running even this script should run with four parallel degree because our default parallel at this time at the session level is 4. Now if I go back to resource manager web interface and refresh this one, you can see the new job running. Click on this application master. Okay, job is completed. Okay, this is there is some issue with the script now you can see that uh, it has run with uh, four reducers and you can see the output so the script is this one so first we load into orders and then we have a specify order status uh, like this and then we have specified distinct orders parallel as 4 even if you remove the parallel and just say distinct order status and hit enter and then dump copy this thing and paste it here and hit enter it will try to inherit the default parallel uh, which we set using the set command you can see it uh, the recent job is 14 and for this the number of reducers are 4 and it is still being running and it has inherited from the set default parallel command okay so this is how you can actually um, use the default at the script level and also at the um, transformation or function level that is it uh, for the certification you don't need to understand uh, um, uh, uh, more details about it and make it more complicated just understand the syntax and uh, most likely they will provide the documentation um, whatever they are referring here and just go through the syntax uh, at the time of the examination before answering your question and try it out and uh, the parallel is applicable while sorting and joining which will which we will see later and uh, distinct which as we have seen here and also group and also there are other functions which are not in the scope of the certification curriculum that being said I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you have any technical questions, please write it on Stack Overflow with appropriate tags. And if you want to discuss further about certifications, please join my LinkedIn group called ITVersity minus certifications. And finally, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.